Hey guys, Jonas here with Team Science. Uh, we just released a video together with GoPro where we did some experiments and played around with liquid nitrogen. And we wanted to do another video where we kind of explain a little bit more about the science and chemistry behind this element, nitrogen, and also, of course, do a few more uh, experiments. Luis, what is the first thing you think about when I mention uh, nitrogen? Nitrogen as a gas. And nitrogen, just as the element nitrogen. Well, you can find it in the air. It's in the air. 78% of the air in our atmosphere is nitrogen. Nitrogen is also a major component of all proteins and DNA found in all life. Ironically, even if most of the air we breathe in is nitrogen, our lungs don't take up any of it. Instead, we have to get it through the food we eat. The nitrogen cycle, starting with nitrogen in the atmosphere being converted into organic molecules by nitrogen fixating bacteria, is one of the crucial biological processes to all life on Earth. Two properties that are important for our fun experiments is that liquid nitrogen has a boiling point of negative 196 degrees centigrade, which is negative 320 Fahrenheit, and that the liquid to gas expansion ratio of liquid nitrogen is 1 to 694, which basically in simpler terms means that an incredible force can be generated when liquid nitrogen is converted to gas in a closed space. And it happens super quickly. It's actually so fast that it blew the sticker off of the bottle. So now I gotta calm down a little bit to explain the science behind this. Uh, I'll do that in a voiceover, it's easier. We filled the bottle with about one third water. When liquid nitrogen is added to the bottle, it is rapidly being converted to nitrogen gas. When the bottle is turned upside down and the water is kept in the bottle just a little bit longer by capping the bottle with the thumb, the pressure built up inside the bottle forces the water out and the bottle shoots like a rocket through jet propulsion. Not completely without risks though. Holy sh**. Uh, we've already tested what happens if you put liquid nitrogen in a plastic bottle and just leave it to expand with the cap on. And now we want to see what happens if you put it on the water as well. So let's test it out. We sink the bottle with a string and a couple of bricks. A GoPro camera is set up to see what happens on the water. And I mean, it's not like we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> But what was really cool to see was how the explosion underwater created a practically perfect spherical ball of bubbles. The other thing we learned was to choose bottles more carefully, no more soft plastic. Holy smokers! We had planned to finish with one last big experiment where we were gonna try to calculate exactly how much liquid nitrogen we needed to add to an air mattress for the nitrogen gas to fill it. But this failed miserably when the liquid got stuck on a fold and froze a hole through the plastic. But we'll try this again at some point, I'm sure. I hope you liked that. And if you want to see the GoPro video, here's the link again. And I also want to give a big shout out to one of our friends who's also done some videos for GoPro. It's the backyard scientist. He's all into experiments and a lot of explosions, a lot of fire and that kind of stuff. So if you're into those kind of experiments, make sure you check out his channel. I'm adding the link here, the backyard scientist. And stay tuned for more videos like this. All right, see you soon.